So I couldn't wait to tell you guys about my family vacation to Destin, Florida for my kids' spring break. We had a great time. We ended up driving. We stayed at a Grand Hyatt Hotel in Sandestin. Um, beautiful hotel. It's nice, kid-friendly. It wasn't too expensive. Paid a little bit over 400 for the three-day trip, two nights. Um, my kids uh, were happy about the hotel as well. Um, the room was nothing extravagant. It was really simple, um, but it, you know, it did its job. Uh, ne I know next time we probably will stay at more of a resort to have that direct beach access. Um, this place did have like, um, not room service, but they did have a, like a bar that had happy hour and everything like that. And they served breakfast every morning for free. So the first thing we did was get dressed, get cute. As you can see, we wore our all black to head down to Harbor Walk. And so Harbor Walk is um, basically they have all these little shops and things you can do um, just right off the beach. And so I grabbed a drink from Margaritaville and you can just walk around with your drink. Um, and I know the kids were excited about trying some activities. So my daughter tried this little water ball thing where they blow it up and she just kind of goes in the water and run around and have a good old time. Um, I thought this was really cute. It was only like 17 bucks. Most of the little kid activities were around that price. Um, you do sign a waiver and everything like that. And um, they had about maybe like five to 10 minutes in the, like 10 minutes in the ball. My son did zip lining. Um, I did not post both videos, but you do one level of zip lining all the way across. And if you can see the, the higher wires, you do that going across as well. And that the zip lining was about like $40. Um, my daughter wanted to drive this little jump thing. And we've all seen this at different like malls and stuff like this. So um, she decided to do some shopping. She got this uh, cute hat. Um, when you press it, the ears go up and down. They have a lot of different places to shop. They have live music um, to kind of just like, you know, enjoy the vibe and the feeling. My kids wanted to try some temporary tattoos. These averaged about like $40, which is ridiculous. My sons ended up messing up, so she gave us a discount. Um, they do tell you it shows up three hours later. Um, same thing with my daughter, but my daughters ended up not showing up. So I actually do not suggest purchasing the temporary tattoos. Go find a henna place or just somewhere else. Um, so as you can see, the property is beautiful down here. Like I love the homes like right over here off the beach. They are amazing. I'm pretty sure they have some Airbnb homes, although we didn't stay Airbnb, but it was just beautiful. Like my kids were in awe. I was in awe. We ended up grabbing some food at Crab Trap. Most of the, a lot of the restaurants have like playgrounds on the beach um, to accommodate the kids and um, while you're waiting on your tables. As you can see, the sunset was beautiful. We sat outside for a little bit while waiting on our table. It was crowded since it is spring break um, time. This was also something we did inside the um, Harbor Walk as well. Here's our food at the Crab Trap. Um, pre be prepared to pay over $100 if it's like three or more people or four people. All our bills were over $100. Um, this place had really good food though. <laughs> We had to do a little shopping because the weather was a little janky, y'all. So we ended up stopping at Old Navy and I had to stop at J. Crew to look at the sweater that I was thinking about getting. Um, but we had to like cover our arms because we knew we had like boat rides coming up and it was a little like windy and cold in the morning. Um, it's not really that warm around spring break time. Uh, so yeah, here we went to Bistrology. Um, this is a cute little brunch and dinner spot. The wait time here was ridiculous. Uh, we waited for our food for a long time. We had reservations, but the wait time for the food was a very long time. They had these little cute drinks. All the drinks are version. They do not have any alcohol. Um, they have a lot of coffees and their breakfasts are shareable sizes. So I would suggest getting a shareable size. You get a lot. Uh, my kids did not eat all my, theirs. I didn't eat all mine. But like I said, it was a very, you know, nice little spot and it felt good out. So we still did enjoy it. It's just if you got somewhere to go and you have already appointments, do I mean, you wouldn't want to sit here because it's going to take you all day to get your food. 
Um, the food was good though. It was good. Um, after that, we wanted to do a date on the beach, be prepared for the crowds for spring break. Um, because it is like roped off in certain areas where you can't like disturb the condo area. So they kind of crowd people in certain areas. And so it was crowded and the water, as you can see, was cold because my kids were not going for it. <laughs> they were not. They were like, oh, this water is cold. They still had fun, though, just playing in the sand, being at the beach. Um, they would get their feet wet a little bit this day. Um, we probably stayed out there for about like a couple hours um, just to get some sun. Not too much. Um, don't forget your sunscreen. You know, I'm big on the facial and body sunscreen. I got it for me and my kids. There's that tattoo that finally started to show up for my son. Um, we decided to build my daughter um, as a mermaid. She, this was her request. It was so cute. Um, this is like one of our things now we do all the time when we go to the beach. Um, my son wanted to get buried. As you can see, um, my daughter buried him. But then it was time to get up. Um, at th On this day, it wasn't too, too hot and it wasn't too, too cold. Um, just to kind of be in the sand. We still did pick up a tent from Walmart. Um as you can see that my son was in and this was uh i mean you know a free activity the only thing you do is probably pay for parking unless you get ubered or anything like that we headed back to the harbor walk um we stopped and got some little slushies before our boat tour um so this boat tour was just like a dolphin cruise and a sunset cruise uh, we went this route instead of renting the boat just because the place we wanted to go to was really more adultish and i thought this would be more kid friendly for them as you can see, the sunset was beautiful. We did see some dolphins. They didn't like flip out of the water, of course, like, you know, like at um, SeaWorld. But, you know, we, you know, you got to see their fins and stuff kind of just playing in the water. I thought it was cool. This was totally free. So they let all the kids, you know, that want to drive the boat, get a, you know, get a feel for it. I thought this was really, really nice. Um, thank God we stopped and got all those hoodies and stuff because my kids were freezing, they were cold. Um, it did help. And the boat ride was about two hours. So, and the people were very entertaining. You do get, um, you can sign up for different people that have like different types of genres of music as well. I didn't know that. And they offer free drinks on board. Um, we decided to stop by this like really nice thrift store. Um, I'm like a lover of thrift stores now. As you can see, this thrift store had some expensive stuff. Like this piano was $1,100. That teapot stuff was like $100, 150 And this one's 150 Like all this stuff was expensive, but you could negotiate the price. But I thought that was so cool. We ended up eating at Camelfo Restaurant. This place was really, really cute. The service was great. Um, you can get some nice pictures in here. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we went here for their lunch menu. I really wanted to try some of their dinner menu items, but they were not serving it due to, of course, it being lunch. Um, but it's a really cute place. The bathrooms are really nice and cute. They're single stall. Um, we really love this. Um, later on that evening, we ate dinner at this Fud Puckers, I believe the name is. Now, this food was really good. Um, they had the live alligators there that you can see. You can also feed them, but since it was really cold out, they knew they weren't really going to eat from us. So they didn't try to like sell us on, you know, getting long stick, getting the sticks with the string to feed them. But they did offer for a picture with an alligator. This was an extra charge, like $15. And they printed it out. They let us record with no problem. I thought that was really cool. The food was amazing there. The last thing we did... Um, before we left was we went back to the beach for surfing lessons. Um, this was something I had already, you know, planned out on like the last day. My son chickened out. And so only my daughter did the surfing lessons. He was saying it was just too cold and he was just nervous. Um, they do show you on sand first and then they take your kid out to the water. This is called Ride on Surf School. Um, they were, you know, very like hands on with her. Um, they stayed with her and everything. They stay with your child out there. Um, the water that they're in, she's able to stand up even if she falls off. Um, I just, I felt really comfortable. I was like right there. They also uh, take photos um, 
and everything and they sent them to me free of charge i thought that was really awesome of them um, my daughter she ended up like not staying out there too long but she did amazing as you can see she did a few of them where she stood up the whole time all the way back up to the shore i was so proud